Hello, Blender Enterprise model makers. We're going to do a quick wrap-up on the windows on the bottom of the saucer. They are not mirrored. They are not the same on both sides. Uh, so we're going to, I'm going to run through this one fairly quickly. I've got my main model of the saucer here in layer one. In bottom layer one, I've got my cameras and my lights or suns. And I've got my plugs for my windows here, including the originals that I made and the two on the side. So I'm going to grab <clears throat> the two on the side. If I look at them at number one, they're right here and here. That's one round port and one rectangular-ish port. I'm going to Shift-D, copy them, and I'm going to M, <coughs> pardon me, move them to uh, layer two, uh, what the heck, and we're going to go back and we're going to select layer one and shift click, left click layer two. I've got them in there and I've got my, my two, two windows, two ports. Okay, so I need to <coughs> move these over here so that they are in line. <coughs> Pardon me with at least a, a window and a port on one level. So I'm going to just randomly pick this level. That's fine. We're going to uh, go out here. I'm going to grab one of these. I'm going to grab it, move it on X axis only, so G and then X. Move it out here so that the center is on the outer line. Remember, we gave the hull a thickness, so it now has two lines. And I'm going to grab this G and X. I'm going to move it out here. And again, same thing. Ah, but they are not <coughs> at the same height. So I want this one centered in that more rectangular-ish, <coughs> pardon me, <coughs> pardon, can't wait to get over this cold. All right, so grab, it's now centered, and this can be grab and centered. Okay, so that's not too bad. It's no doubt not mathematically perfect, but not too shabby at all. Okay, so we're going to go control seven, and I'm going to Make sure that the rotate is on bounding box. I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees. I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees. All right, so we're going to go to 1. And we're going to do what we did before. I'm going to rotate this so that it's pretty much perpendicular to the hull. Rotate this the same way. Okay, and they both pretty much li line up correctly. Uh, I want to use the 3D cursor now for all my rotations. Make sure that the cursor is in the center. Of course, that's Shift S cursor to center until we move everything. I'm going to go to Control 7. <clears throat> and I've got some stuff already lined up. So I'm, I've got the rectangular ish one uh, highlighted. I'm going to Shift D, rotate. And I'm going to rotate it here so that it's at the first of these windows. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Make sure that's nicely centered. That's pretty good. Shift D. Rotate. Remember, I'm not going to make them uh, any larger. I want them the same <coughs> size as the ones on the neck and on the engineering hall. Shift D. Rotate. And Shift D. Rotate. <coughs> now, there are three, <coughs> four, sorry, circular ports on this level. So I want to select this, Shift D. This time I am actually going to rotate it by what? Three degrees? No. Rotate by four. That's almost perfect. Rotate four. Whoops, point 0.1. Is that good? That's pretty good. All right, so I'm going to highlight that same one again. 
<clears throat> Shift D, rotate negative 4.1, enter. <clears throat> All right, so those three are spaced correctly, and we've got to move one here. So I'm going to pick that center one again. Shift D, rotate. Get in a little closer and make sure that lines up well. Actually, that's pretty good, but rotate just a tiny bit. There we go. <clears throat> all right, so all of the windows up till here are all set. So we're going to grab one of these, Shift D, rotate. Let's get in a little closer. We got a bunch of these rectangular ish <coughs> windows to line up. <coughs> Shift D, rotate. Now, some of these things are not windows, like this square here is actually not a window. Neither is this. Those are actually signs. So Shift D, right mouse click, rotate, center that up, Shift D, rotate, Shift D, rotate. All right. So... You've got the general idea. I will come back when all my windows are placed. Okay, I have all of my windows and lights placed, including these three out here by the edge, saucer edge. Now it's the lower saucer edge. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you where these line up by going to one. <clears throat> Notice, <coughs> pardon me, that they intersect with the hull here and all right so I'm going to join like things so these uh, six lights around the edge are shift and right clicked I'm going to control J now I'm going to Add a couple of mod well, first I'm going to add, I'm going to smooth shade them. I'm going to go to the modifiers and add edge split and apply. Okay, so that's done for those. And we're going to do the same for all of these windows. Now, <clears throat> just to point out again, this and this is not a window. That's signage. This is a large yellow sign. This and this are gray signs, and so is this. And this is, the, the rest of these are all windows. Oh, I am missing one round port. Be right back. All right, so I want to select, say, I don't know, all my round ports. So we'll click on one of them. You don't want any of them to be too near these three cutouts that we made. So I'm going to select one, shift, right mouse click, right mouse click, right mouse click, right mouse click. Right mouse click, right mouse click, right mouse click, right mouse click, and then these three. One, two, three. Now, if you do something by mistake like hitting the hull, you can hit it again and deselect it. So now I've got all of these round ports selected. I'm going to Control J. They are now a single object. <clears throat> I'm going to do the same for all the square ports or windows if you want. Uh, click on one, right mouse click on one of them and then uh, control, uh, whoops, sorry, right mouse click and then shift click, shift click everything, whoops, except for the hull, of course. Each of these rectangular windows. And I think that's all of them, so control J. All right, so we've got round ports, <coughs> all of them. We've got our rectangularish ports, all of them. And we've got these three lights on both sides of the hull. Okay, so that's three sets of objects <coughs> which need to be booleaned with the primary hull. So I'm going to... Shift D, the hull, and we're going to move a copy of that out to say number three. 
and then shift D the hull. Move that out to four and shift D the hull. Move that copy out to five. So we've got several copies of the hull. The first one I'm going to do, <clears throat> I'm going to pick our hull remaining in slot one. And we can see slot two, which contains all of our window objects. And we are going to go over here to add modifier, and we are going to Boolean, and we are going to intersect, and we're going to pick, say, our one of our round uh, objects here. Okay, and apply. Great stuff. Cool. So we've got those round ones done. <clears throat> I'm going to include. One of the other hull copies. I'm going to grab a hull copy, add a modifier, boolean, intersect. This time we're going to pick one of the one of the rectangular windows and apply. Okay, very good. So I'm going to shift and I'm going to click yet another copy of the hull. Add modifier, boolean, intersect. We're going to select these ex external lights here. Apply. <clears throat> okay, great. We've run through almost all of our hulls. Luckily, we have one more. And we, um, shift click number five. <clears throat> shift click the hull. And just because I'm chicken, shift D to copy it. And I'm going to move a copy of that all the way out here to the last one so that we have something to fall back on just in case. <clears throat> now what we're going to do is we're going to add a modifier Boolean, only this time we are going to do difference. And we're going to pick, say, the external windows and apply. Then add another Boolean, difference, select the round ports, and apply. And then Boolean, difference, and select the rectangular ports and apply. Okay, great. In theory, we are done with those. We're going to go in and we are going to move all of our plugs, all of our drills, move them. I'm going to move them out here to the next to last one so that they are easy to find. I'm going to grab my big round plugs, move them out to number four, and grab my rectangular plugs. Make sure that they're the largest thing there. And move out to four. Okay, so we are left with the thin windows and the hull. <clears throat> I'm going to grab each set. Oh, first I'm going to grab my hull, add a modifier, edge split, apply. And then I'm going to do that to each of the types of windows as well. Edge split, apply. Edge split, apply. Did that work? Did not seem to work. Oh, that's uh, because I want the round ones, Eric. Edge split, apply. And then these. Edge split, apply. Okay, great. Now, unfortunately, they are all the hull color. <clears throat> so I'm going to go here while I've got these six outer windows selected. I'm going to click on this browse material to be linked. I'm going to pick glass. I'm going to grab the round windows, glass, rectangular windows, glass. I'm going to include my lights and cameras. <clears throat> I'm going to grab the bottom camera, control zero, and I'm going to render out what this looks like. I'll come back in a minute. Okay, here's the render. The uh, bottom windows are in place. The glass for those windows is also perfectly in place. Um, and all of our booleans are done. We could go through and we could do some cleanup. This model that I am walking you through is not what would be considered an optimized model where you reduce the number of, uh, of uh, quads and triangles to a minimum level 
<clears throat> because the camera will never see all of this. But what I'm what I'm primarily trying to do is to get you to understand how to make the basic shapes, how to use uh, splines, and how to use booleans, how to manipulate primitives uh, like the squares and the uh, cubes and the cylinders in order to make more complex objects like the saucer hull. Matter of fact, I'm going to hit F11. I haven't saved uh, any of these renders. I don't, I'm not uh, going to use them. However, if you are building a model and you are going to a forum and showing them your work, you're going to want to, <coughs> pardon me, you're going to want to render out each of these steps uh, when you've completed a major step and then put your name and at least the year somewhere on your image. Uh, there are forums, or we can discuss that later, how to do that. But uh, for right now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of, you know, shift, click the uh, lights and camera, and I'm going to go to 1 and Z and just take a quick tour. As a matter of fact, if I hit 5, I am out of orthographic, and I get perspective. And, oh, I, I still have to mirror the glass for the top two, uh, which I have not yet done. Uh, but, you know, all in all, not bad looking for, for a saucer uh, with a bunch of glass windows. All right, not too shabby. Matter of fact, if we want to make everything stand out a little more, we can <coughs> highlight our saucer. Uh, we can give it just a base uh, material, so we're going to call this hull. Uh, matter of fact, I'll rename it Hull Gray. And we're going to come over here to Color. We're going to leave it at the Diffuse. And we're going to just pick something a little gray or maybe a little blue-green. Okay, great. So we've got a texture there. Let's click on Settings. Click on this Viewport Color. Click on this Selector. Click on this Color Window. And this will now look like this while we're walking around it. And uh, let's see here. This. Okay. And what we want to do is we want to go back to orthographic. Three. Z. And what I want to do is I want to go to modifiers, mirror, and I want the copies over here. So not X, but probably Z. Ah, let's go to the top. Looks like it fits perfectly. We're going to apply, and for our glass texture, which is white in the viewport when we do this, which is perfectly fine, it now stands out from uh, the rest of the hull. But what the heck, <coughs> for viewport color, I'm going to make all the glass black so that they really stand out. Now, they won't render like that. As a matter of fact... Let's go to whatever our last camera angle was. Render that real fast. Be right back. Okay, so with some materials applied to the hull, and of course a glass material applied to all the windows and lights so far, we can at least see a stark difference because there's no <clears throat> light internally to our model yet. All the windows look black. <coughs> and they look kind of grayish out towards the saucer's edge because they're they're tilted and they're reflecting a little bit of light towards the camera. Um, but you can already see some of the details. And because we've applied a uh, kind of a lackluster, very simplistic material uh, to the hull, uh, you can at least see the three ringed cutouts. Uh, we're going to be doing much more with this. And with proper lighting, things will pop out more. Uh, I'm going to show you one more item on the uh, bottom of the primary hull that needs to be modeled. They are the, the two triangular uh, items uh, because those are actually 3D items. The rest will all be handled with textures. All right, so see you see in the next video.